Hey folks, my name is Sean. I'm a sound designer on Chaos Cart. Today we're going to be working on a vocal effect for the character Lancelot. Uh, Lancelot is, as you might imagine, a knight character. So he's got a metal helmet on. So we're going to try and get an effect going on that sounds like uh, Lancelot is wearing a metal helmet. Um, the voice lines were recorded by Daniel. These are some preliminary voice lines. Um, they're probably going to be re-recorded a little bit later to eliminate some plosives, probably, probably use a uh, pop filter. Um, so right now we're not super worried about the audio quality. We won't be doing any actual editing to the vocal parts. I'm just going to be worrying about the effect that is on the, the track to make it sound like it's in a helmet. So what I'll start off with is playing the raw file so you can hear what it sounds like uh, without any Do effects. Not covet my power there you go so what I did initially a few of these kind of had a little bit of uh, honking here this is the best the best thing I could describe it as at about 300 Hertz I just sounded a little bit weird so I threw on an equalizer to take care of that and also boosted a little bit of the high end to give it a little bit of high-end sheen do not covet my power it's pretty subtle not something you can hear very easily uh, what I'm using here is what's called an equalizer or an EQ and what that does it allows you to raise and lower the volume of just specific frequencies on a track so for example here around 300 Hertz I'm dipping about six decibels of volume and this allows you to adjust what's called the Q which is how wide that is you can adjust a large frequency band or just a small amount like we're doing here um, and this is a I believe it's called a high shelf where you just uh, pull up everything in the high end here so we're just doing a little bit of that here um, just to give a little bit of high end sheen so that's that's the first thing we did then I threw a compressor on um, especially because I had, didn't go through and do any vocal editing on these uh, the volumes are a little bit varied, so because I wasn't, didn't want to worry about that, I just threw a compressor on so we could even out the volume a little bit. Do not covet my power. So there you go. So <clears throat> with sound design, a lot of times you'll spend an hour trying to work on an effect, and then you'll stumble upon something extremely simple, which is exactly what I did with this. Uh, I spent some time, I was trying to figure out how to make this sound exactly like I wanted, and then I realized I could use what's called convolution reverb. Um, so this is the first thing I did. So a convolution reverb, what that does, it lets you use an impulse response. So an impulse response is um, just kind of a, let's say for example, someone was to record themselves clicking in a room or making a, a, a quick sharp noise in a room. Um, you would then take that noise and put it into, uh, record that as an impulse and use that as a sound file in your convolution reverb. So this is what the actual thing sounds like. Doesn't sound like much, but it's somebody, I think, hitting a metal shelf. So what that does, it allows us to... Do not covet my power. It makes it sound very, very metallic. Um, the original was... Uh, here, what, what this uh, fog convolver lets you do is adjust the pitch of the of that noise. Do not covet my power. So I adjusted the pitch and made it about half half the uh, the pitch. Do not covet my power. Which also sped it up. Um, I also threw a low pass filter on there, so it's not not doing much above uh, seven thousand hertz. Um, I did a fade out so that we weren't getting the full effect of it because this is what it sounds like if we did that. Do not covet my power. Do not covet my power. Do not covet my power. See, so yeah, I wanted to make sure that it didn't sound too crazy. Uh, so we faded that out. I did a little balancing here with the dry and wet. Um, Do not just means covet my power. How much of that we have in there versus how much of <laughs> this is scratch. So just balancing. Do the not covet my power with the dry vocal track. So that was the first thing I did. 
found that metal shelf convolution and that sounded pretty good. I then threw on another convolution, which I guess is the sound of a toaster. Do not covet my power. And then I use a little bit less of. Not as strong as the first one. Do not covet my power. And that was the majority of the effect. Um, it sounds a bit strong. What I did right afterwards, I did some cuts here. Because um, I was getting some weird frequencies that were popping up. Um, so I just cut a few of those out. Do not covet my power. So it wouldn't be so harsh in certain areas. And then the last thing I did was just throw an equalizer on that's just really cutting off the highs and the lows um, to make it sound a bit more. Do not covet my power. A bit more distant, like somebody who's outside the helmet, not like you're uh, inside the helmet hearing that. So that's really the effect. It wasn't something that, uh, it doesn't seem too complex, but it just took me a little while to get there. Um, but a lot of sound design is just trial and error and figuring things out as you go. Uh, stay tuned for some more. Um, we're going to be doing some, some more vocal effects and we're going to start moving on to some other sound effects like the vehicles and things like that soon. So we'll have a lot more coming your way. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Baka Bros Entertainment for more updates on our game development videos. And just remember, keep on developing, bros.